What is the smallest positive integer that only contains the digits 0 and 1 and is divisible by 36? This was question B1 of the Junior Maths Olympiad from 2024. So in section B, we need to give really good working as well as just an answer because these are now 10 mark questions where most of the marks are for the working. Uh, now in practice, you might do this by playing around with it first to get the answer, that's a good idea. But let's think about how we'd also set that out really clearly on paper. So divisibility tests are really important for maths challenges. They are in uh, all of my online courses and classes, come up all the time in different forms. And that's definitely where we start here. How do we uh, think about a number that's divisible by 36? Well, a number is divisible by 36 if and only if it's divisible by uh, both four and nine. Remember, a number is divisible uh, by uh, the lowest common multiple uh, of other numbers that it's divisible by. So if it's divisible by 4 and 9, the lowest common multiple of 4 and 9 is 36. Here, 4 and 9 don't have any factors in common, uh, so it's the same thing as 4 times 9, uh, but it's not always just the numbers multiplied together. It should be the lowest common multiple. Again, much more detail about that uh, in my uh, Go for Gold courses if you want to look at that. Um, but let's get on with this question here. So uh, to, be, to be divisible by 4, uh, there's a divisibility test. Again, all these tests um, uh, are really important for the math challenges. So the last two digits of the number uh, need to be a multiple of four. That's the divisibility test for divisibility by four. It works because uh, if a number is a multiple of 100, uh, then it's certainly a multiple of four because 100 is 25 times four. So I just need to check, if you like, uh, the remainder when you divide by 100, the last two digits of the number, because it's going to be some number of hundreds plus those last two digits. So uh, if we're only allowed to use the digits 0 and 1, then the last two digits would have to be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. Um, but out of those, the only possibility that's a multiple of 4 is 0, which does, for this purpose, of course, count as a multiple uh, of, of 4. So it must be, actually, that the last two digits of this number are a 0 and a 0. So we're making good progress. Uh, what about divisibility by 9? Well, the very famous divisibility test for divisibility by 9 is that the digit sum of the number has to be a multiple of 9 as well. So uh, that means that uh, the number of 1s used in the number must be a multiple of 9, because we've just got these two zeros at the end and all the other digits are going to be 1s. So uh, to make that number as small as possible then, how would we do it? Well, of course, we would use exactly 9 ones. We wouldn't want to use 18 or 27 ones. That's going to make a much bigger number. Uh, and so it must be that the number uh, starts with nine ones and has two zeros at the end, uh, and that is the smallest number that satisfies the condition of this question. And if you wrote it out like that, you would get 10 out of 10.